Good morning. What is the value of ungodly allies? Let's look at Jeremiah chapter 2. Our study today is in 33 to 37. Why do you beautify your way to seek love? Therefore you have also taught the wicked women your ways. Also on your skirts is found the blood of the lives of the poor innocents. I have not found it by secret search, but plainly on all these things. Yet you say, because I am innocent, surely his anger shall turn from me. Behold, I will plead my case against you, because you say I have not sinned. Why do you gad about so much to change your way? Also, you shall be ashamed of Egypt as you were ashamed of Assyria. Indeed, you will go forth from him with your hands on your head. For the Lord has rejected your trusted allies, and you will not prosper by them. So God is still laying out charges against his people, and he asks them, why are you behaving this way? Why are you, you're basically, you're my bride. You're basically my bride. Why are you beautifying yourself to appeal and allure to these other, uh, these other suitors that you're looking for? Why are you looking to Egypt? Why are you looking to other powers? What's going on? It's hard to imagine, you know, that picture of a bride. She's, she's all dressed up for her wedding, but she's, she's busy, uh, flirting with other people on coming to her wedding. Why, when you are made in God's image, do you remake yourself in an Egyptian image or a Babylonian image or whatever is the fashionable reinvention of the day? You know, they're always reinventing Christianity today. We've got to be on the latest stuff, you know, for, for evangelistic things. Why do men seek out the ideas of men when they're purportedly seeking a God's favor? A lot of people really just are not consecrated to the Lord. They're not willing to do it his way. They're determined to do it their own way. But it's bad for the nation, and it results in hardship for God's people. It brings a lot of suffering to them. At the lowest ebb of God's people, what did we have? They were burning their babies as an offering to Molech. Stuff like that was happening. I mean, that's, that's just about as grim as it can get. And yet, in our day, there are, there are crimes a little bit similar, but they're to a secular God. And now, now, here are, are God's people making an alliance with the superpowers of their day, trying to make an alliance with Egypt, you know, revising their policies to appeal to the Egyptian leaders or some other national government. They're, they're changing their ways to be more appealing to them. You know, Egypt has its own agendas and they're not God's agendas. So why are you trying to tweak things to appeal to that? Israel changing her ways will not win the loyalty of the Egyptians. It's just not going to happen. There's no real help to be gained from human allies. It's a hopeless quest. And so when the national leadership is far out of line with God's people, God's people will suffer. Now after this, thankfully, is going to come God's call to return. We're coming to that in the very next chapter. But in this portion, we're still hearing about Judah's obstinate rebellion against God's chastening, and she's just not accepting any correction at all. Things are really grim for the people. And, you know, always there's a mix of the faithful and the rebellious. But you know what? God knows who they are. God knows who's seeking to be faithful, and he doesn't forget. He is watching over his faithful, even when the larger number is, in a, is in, uh, departed from him. Don't lose sight of the fact that God knows your heart, and he's still in favor of you. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, the hammer's about ready to fall on Judah, and God's finishing his charges here against her. Lord, we, we want to be right. We know there are charges you would lodge against us. We know that we have been unfaithful. Oh, Lord, please help us to be your people. Show us your pathway from wherever we are to wherever we need to be, and chasten us carefully, Lord, because we're just flesh. We would easily be wiped out. But your eye is on your people, not for ill, but for good. Lord, we thank you for that. We trust you. We know you want to bring us to the kingdom. So, Lord, help us. In spite of ourselves, Lord, help us. And especially, Lord, preserve your faithful. Show us your ways, we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Do not despair if no one else seems to get it. If no one else seems sensitive to the spiritual, God sees you and he's for you. God be with you today.